Boy Run, man, I'm back with another video, man. This is Trigger Reactions, and we're back with a good video, man. Uh, Y'all know how I get down over here, man. I rock with the Hodge Twins. Uh, and this video, they're going to be talking about a Boston sports radio host by the name of Tony Maserati. He's in trouble for saying a black joke. You already know, man, when it comes to race, politics, and certain things, people get triggered easily. So, look, let's get right into it, y'all. Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Damn good show. Yeah. So, it's this I got. I think he's Italian. His, His name, name is Maserati, ain't and it? he's up in Boston. That sounds like some kind of pasta or something. <laughs> Have you noticed that about Italians? Names sound like pasta. <laughs> Hey, like some kind of like rig rigatoni. <laughs> What's your name? My name is uh, Tony Rigatoni. <laughs> I'm the bar boss up here. What's your middle name? Spaghetti. <laughs> What's your nickname? Meatball. <laughs> See, that was racial and sensitive. That was ra It was, but it's it's funny, man. I'm ready to hear this joke to see. Uh, I feel like, hey, man. If it was ain't done in good spirits, good jokes, it's all good, man. We don't PC comedy over here, man. Let it rip. If it's not funny, we just won't laugh, but we get you tried to be funny and not tried to be hateful. You know what I'm saying? But let's hear the joke. Let's see what's going on. I apologize. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I think we gotta start over, man. He's starting shit over. What's wrong with you? You gonna start sensing yourself? <laughs> <laughs> so Tony Maserati, he's a, uh, he's a in hot water. Yeah, he's a sports um, radio talk guy. Yeah, and he made some racially insensitive remarks yeah. about these couple of niggas sitting behind this. <laughs> so let me give y'all some let me give y'all some backstory on this. Oh man. So they're doing the um they're doing this radio podcast thing, right? Tony Bass is sports, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tony Bass <Masarati>, right? <laughs> <laughs> they talking sports, right? Yeah. And um and one of the guys on the podcast radio show with them, he's uh he's uh He's in New Orleans. He's doing the show remotely, right? Yeah, he's doing it. He's being all ghetto about his stuff. Yeah, and he's I think he was in the lobby, huh? Yeah, he was in the lobby of a hotel in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Now, in New Orleans, I think that place is 80% black. <laughs> Every time I go, that's all you see. Might say, be 90% black, man. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chocolate city, man. Yeah, man. So he's sitting in the lobby, and then Tony Maserati says some racist shit. <laughs> well, it's not racist. <laughs> it's it racially insensitive. It's racially insensitive. Yeah, like, like what I said, it was racially insensitive. You know, it's racially insensitive. Even though a lot of that shit is... There is a difference. I think uh, just being racist, you're just being hateful and ignorant. Being race, uh, racial and sensitive is more like... Uh, not so extreme. Like You may just not understand the culture or stereotypes and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's not that... It wasn't with malicious intent. But let's see. A lot of times got nicknames Meatball, you know. What? <clears throat> meatball. Ain't nobody got no nickname Meatball. I mean, we get, I mean every culture, every race, every, every ethnicity got some racially insensitive nicknames. Oh, I see. Look what black people call each other. They call each other the N-word 24-7. What's up, nigga? Hey, I'm doing all right, nigga. Man, I'm just over here being a nigga. <laughs> So he said, well, look at gay people. They call themselves the F word all the time. Yeah. Okay, let's keep it about I'm just trying to make a point, man. All right, that's cool. It's only offensive when you're not included in a group. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying. Just laying down some some groundwork. Okay, so so his friend is doing the show remotely in New Orleans, and there's a couple black guys sitting in the back. And then what, what got Tony in trouble is what he said. Check it out. Yeah, I want to know now who the two guys behind you are. That's what I want okay. to Because if I were you... I'll be off in two minutes. I'm just doing... I got just... If, if I'm too loud, just let me know. Honestly. <laughs> they can't... Two more minutes. They can't hear us, right? No, not you. Okay, no, so I would be careful if I were you, because the last time you were on a couple of guys like that, they stole your car. <laughs> There's Chris in Boston. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, 
What's going on, guys? Um, I want to t- talk about Mizzou. Oh, my God. I can't believe you just said yeah, that. Put, hold, hold up that image again. Look at the guy that said he's so proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy that's with the him. The dude that he made the joke to, he's disgusted. <laughs> yeah, he's like, look at, look at his reaction one more time. Go back a little bit. Yeah. Watch what he says. Look at the guy he says it to. Watch. Okay. Log, just let me know. Honestly, <laughs> they can't. Two more minutes. They can't hear us, right? No, not you. Okay, no. So I would be careful if I were you, because the last time you were on a couple of guys like that, they stole your car. There's <laughs> Chris in Boston. So the fact that he said, "Can they hear us?" That lets me know. Not that he was trying to be racist, but he definitely knew what he was saying would be either racially insensitive or in between. Or being racist. Um, that wasn't even like a good joke. Like it wasn't even like. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, man. It, it it's a hint of like, I don't know. It's hard to say. I wouldn't take that serious or be upset at the guy. It actually wasn't like a, even a really good joke. It wasn't like a well thought out racial joke. You know, it was just like, oh, that's how you do guys like that. Uh, 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 the car got broken into. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what the Hard Twins got to say. Hi, press. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I want to t- talk about. My- see how proud of himself he was. <laughs> <laughs> Bring his pitch up, but he's laughing again. <laughs> he said he thinks this shit's so funny he's about to bite his lip off. <laughs> he's like, I got off a good one right now. <laughs> well, okay, look, how do okay, let me say this. You know what's going on, Keith? They're in a hotel, and you know how you in every hotel they got like a business center where you can go online, and use a computer. Yeah. Yeah. That's where he's at. Yeah. That that who gives a shit? That nigga in the back's probably waiting for the computer. <laughs> No, no, that nigga's waiting for him to go outside. <laughs> According to Tony Maserati. Yeah. But uh, so let me say this. Okay, it's racially insensitive. But why, what I want to say this: Why do? Why did he make that observation about that? Because something happened to his friend. Yeah, That's how right. racism starts. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, give you an example. Let's say you take an old lady walking up and down the street, right? Uh-oh. She's 80 years old. She got a purse. Uh-huh. Couple niggas come up, rob her, take a purse, and push her on the street. Yeah. All right. Next time she walk down the street, uh-huh. she gonna see if she sees some black people. She'll, oh, yeah. Say goes, the Hodge twins is walking up. Even if it was. And like <clears throat> on their point, what they saying is it's kind of like with the whole police thing. Like I had encounters with great cops, like traffic stops. I've had bad encounters with traffic stops. But people who only had encounters or a situation with a type of people or a certain group, um, they only know their experience. But he tried to make a joke of it, which his friend going through that, he was joking like, oh, you know, maybe there's a, it, it was racially insensitive and maybe there's just a thing there. Uh, uh, you know, maybe. But I don't, I wouldn't get upset at the guy. They shouldn't cancel him or nothing like that. It was a corny joke. It really was like an inside corny joke between something that happened to his friend that they know about. Uh, but it was easy to pick at the fact that the guys were black. That's the part of coming. And which is, I don't think he was being racist or he should be banned or anything like that. That's my opinion. Uh, what do you guys think, man? Leave it down below, man. Let me know. You think he should be canceled? Well, which, if you watch this channel, I if you are a supporter of mine, we don't think people should be canceled. We think people can make mistakes <clears throat> and be, you know, you know, I, I, canceling people doesn't solve problems. Uh, I think it's really just a, um, it just, it's, it's wrong to me. I mean, unless someone has done something that they're supposed to be in. The only way you should be canceled is if you're going to jail or prison. Or you get fired from your job, but even, like, you shouldn't get counseled from something you said that didn't really, you know, hurt anyone. Like, we, we adults here. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't think uh, Mr. Maserati should be canceled. I mean, the joke to me, like, now, should he apologize? 
I still don't think so either. I think he just made a bad joke. It was horrible. I mean, it was racially insensitive, but I mean, he was telling a joke about his friends. Like, I don't know. I think people shouldn't even pay that no mind, to be honest. So a bunch of other stuff to pay attention to right now than that. <laughs> but I don't know, guys. You let me go. You you guys let me know down below, man. I also believe the original video with the, with the Hot Twins reaction to it as well. Uh, you guys go check those guys out, Conservative Twins. They're dope. They're funny. They always got great content. I've been watching them for years. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. This is your boy Ron. See you guys in the video. And wait, wait, wait. Make sure, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment. I love you guys. That helps the channel out a lot. You guys have been great. We're on our road to 10,000 subscribers. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.